Let's talk about some of the more advanced formulas like the if statement, then and else statements. We have to use our formula workshop to do that. So we're going to go down along the side where our formula fields are. We're going to do a new one. We're going to call this discount. And we're going to say OK. Now to start with, how will the formula be defined? Well, it's going to be defined as an if-then-else statement. So over here in the functions and operators, we are specifically looking for control structures. And we can see under operators, there's the control structure. So this is an if something, then something, else something. And I'm going to double click that. Now, the mouse is flashing where it wants you to actually put in um, a field or another formula. For us, we're going to find out up above the unit price. If the unit price equals a value. And we're going to say what it equals. And it can equal or be greater than. We're going to say if it is greater than $10, then what? Then we're going to multiply. Now, multiplication, of course, is a multi is a uh, asterisk. So we're going to find our total purchase, and we're going to say it's times point. 0, 1. Now I'm going to wrap that within quotes. So if it is not greater than 10, what's the else? The else is no discount. Now let me just blow this up a little bit and we'll read it. So if the unit price of whatever the product is that they're buying is greater than $10, then total purchase times, it's a 1% discount. Else, no discount. All right, let's verify the syntax. And notice it says a currency amount is required. A currency amount. Not a text. So can we do zero? So I'm going to verify the syntax and it looks good. Now we're going to save and close that. Now this is a proof of concept. Now because of that I'm going to get rid of the region and I'm going to bring that discount in. Now remember it was based upon the unit price of $10. Let's preview the report. Now it is a little tight here, but unit price is this, so they certainly get a discount. And notice my choices here. So it is working. So this one, the unit price was $8.99. So what is 10%? roughly, or 1% of that, $27. And it is, of course, rounding this up. So it is working exactly as planned. And that's an if-else-then statement. And that's the end of the demo. Let's talk about filtering data by using a formula or conditional filtering. Um, we can use the AND and we can use OR operators to do this. Now within here we do have our customer name, order date, quantity, and so forth. But we want to do filtering here by state. So let's prove a point. Let's bring in the state field. So up here in our customers we have all of our choices. Let's select region and bring that in. And let's see what the region field actually holds. And it is. 
by state and we can see now what we want is a specific equals certain elements now let's see if we have we have Oregon Illinois Virginia and let's go through here and we do have California so now let's go back to design and we are going to do a formula but not from the side we're actually going to do a select option to select based upon a formula now across the top the select expert that's our section that's our formula if we move over this is the select expert and we have different choices here we're going to do record because we only want to select specific records and I'm going to delete the ones that are here I'm going to do a new one now this new one is based upon region which is in the report already and if it is equal to we're going to pick California but I also want it to be equal to MA CA and MA and notice my choices so I'm going to do a new one based upon the same thing and notice down below it already has the previous one but this time under the new one it says I can't do that no I can't so what I have to do is I have to actually edit this and it's easy in the lower part of the formula field I can actually type in there so I'm going to put my mouse right in there and I'm going to use the OR clause customer region now what is my second clause it's going to equal MA so the region is either CA or it's MA and I'm going to say OK if I've done a mistake then we'll know so we are selecting the records based on that now let's preview and we'll refresh the data and I see CA let's go ahead and ahead and I see MA so it's working so we can choose this with an OR but what would I see if I said AND let's go back to our select expert we're just going to go in here and we're going to make a change notice that what it did it said is one of but I'm going to delete that get all my records back go back to my select expert based on region and the region is going to equal I'm going to pick California now when I say new notice what it's going to do it's going to insert the formula at the bottom but this time I'm going to use the word and and I'm actually going to cheat a little going to copy that paste it in and change it to MA now can that actually work can we have two customers or any customer in two regions well the formula when we say okay the formula is fine but let's see what happens to the data I don't have any don't have any that meet both of those criteria so let's go back to the select expert and we're just going to delete this let's do another one and everything's back this time it's based on region and it's going to be is equal to CA but the next one is going to be based upon total purchase so if the total purchase is greater than and notice I have all of my choices 
I am going to say if it's greater than 500. So it is going to build this with CA but only if greater than 500. And I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to refresh my data. And I can see I'm only looking at greater than 500. I could base the formula on anything. On anything. And that's the end of this little demonstration.